fridge in the freezer. Okay. <clears throat> right. Uh, just a minute. Why am I getting these peas out of the freezer when we've just spent half an hour shelling those? Oh, it's your father's latest thing, Greet. He doesn't trust fresh peas. He says birds have pooped on them. <laughs> well, they all come from the same place, out of the ground. Oh, well, that's the other thing. He says the ground is just full of dead worms. <laughs> then why bother shelling them? Why not just use frozen peas all the time? Greta, frozen peas are industrial peas. They come from factories. So? Well, call me old-fashioned if you want, but I just cannot accept that some foreign man in gumboots and a hairnet has prepared your father's meal with a forklift truck. <laughs> but these are frozen. No, they're not, great. They're fresh peas. I shelled those during the royal wedding. Then what were they doing in the freezer? So they don't go off. And so I can tell your father they're frozen peas and no birds have pooped on them. <laughs> Honesty is very important in marriage, Greet. So is sanity, Ma. Mrs B, you know I don't like to be a complaining guest, but... Yes. But I'm bloody starving. Oh, I'm sorry, Bruno. Would you like a sayo? Yeah, this time can I have something on it? <laughs> T-bone steak. Oh. Look, just patient, Bruno. It's only nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? Half the hospitals in Australia have served breakfast by now. Oh, I'm sorry, Bruno. Everything's all cooked, you know. The roast is just keeping warm in the oven. Well, can I get in there with it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Here, take these. What Help me there? to set the table. No, you. Go on. Here you go. Oh. Give you something to do. Privilege. <laughs> I think it'll be safe to put the peas on now, Greet. Yes, Mum. Oh, and remember, they do go black if you boil them without the water. Yes, you find plenty of water in the tap. No. Oh, sorry, dear. Oh, she's a nice girl, Greg, but she's not very practical when it comes to boiling things, you know, like water. Mrs B, where is Grumblebum? Oh, it's Wednesday tonight. He's busy at the course. You mean the greyhounds are still chasing him round the track? <laughs> is that a joke? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Are you sure it's a joke? I mean, there's no Irish elephant in it. Don't worry about it, Mrs B. Where is he? Oh, he's at the lecture theatre to improve himself. You mean he's at the operating theatre to improve himself? Well, there's no elephant in that one either. Which part of himself is he trying to improve? His dandruff? No, it's his brain. Oh. <laughs> no wonder he's late. They're probably still looking for it. Bruno, that's not Fair. Sorry, uh, Mrs. Ted Bede. is working very hard at this course. It's going to turn him into a positive, dynamic person for only $200. What's the course called? It's called You Too Can Be a Dynamic, Positive Personality for Only $200. <laughs> How to be a leader in industry. Ted wants to be Kerry Packer. Him? <laughs> Kerry Packer? He wouldn't make it as a banana packer. <laughs> He's home. Oh, praise Let's the eat. Lord. Oh. <laughs> you can open the wine, Bruno. I'll get the other plates. I opened it hours ago. Oh, we'll have gone all warm and flat. Mm. It's supposed to be like that. Warm, flat wine. Oh, how posh. <laughs> Next thing you know, we'll have a spoon for the Vegemite. We're <laughs> <laughs> at the table, dear. <laughs> Everyone, isn't it a dynamic and positive evening? I don't believe this. Smiling. Are you smiling, Ted, or have you just taken Jimmy Hannon's teeth for a walk? Shut up, Wog. <laughs> oh, hang on. Persuasion point three. Hello, young lady. Is your mother in? Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> for a beautiful lady, beautiful flowers. Oh, you haven't even been drinking. <laughs> and for my beautiful daughter, chocolates. Oh, thank you, Dad. And for my beautiful wog in law. <laughs> Ted, you shouldn't have a salam. Ted, I'm quite overcome. Flowers, they're really beautiful. It's 
come and stick them in some water. <laughs> They're lovely, Dad. We'll have them after dinner. Mum, could you stick them in the fridge? Oh, yes. <laughs> now, I wonder where I could possibly stick them. <laughs> Remarkable. 200 bucks and I'm a new man. Suddenly I'm irresistible, charming and totally persuasive. And all eyes turn to me for leadership wherever I am. Especially here, in this living room, tonight, now. Of course it's totally understandable. <laughs> Give me that. Hey. Listen. Why? Of course I'm bloody irresistible. <laughs> So's chicken pox. <laughs> Listen, what, you want me to send your nose home to Italy? <laughs> How would you like me to tell the RSL that you walked out of Gallipoli because there were no cartoons with it? You wouldn't dare. I bloody would. Wouldn't. Would. Wouldn't. Would. Wouldn't. Oh, would. Dad, would. Bruno, stop it. You're acting like a pair of children. Would. Wouldn't. Would. 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 Oh, why do I have to stop it? He started it. I did not. You did so. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. 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 All right, cheat. What is it, Green? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing, Thelma, my dear. Uh, Greta was just talking to me. She thought I was outside, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, by the way, Thelma, my love, uh, how are those flowers I gave you for nothing? Just lovely. Now, you stop fighting with Bruno. Dobber. <laughs> we were doing the crossword until we were interrupted by your out-of-control charm. Well, give us my crossword. I want to colour it in. You don't know how to do them. Yes, I do so too. Oh, you don't, Dad. You always muck them up with your silly words. Listen, Miss Camelnose, I learned to talk before you did. Yeah, but it was a closely run thing, though, wasn't it, Ted? You give me back my paper, I'll call Thelma. Oh, all right, all right. Dad can help us. We'll all do the crossword, all right? Oh, all right. OK, Einstein, here it comes, three down. To find an animal that swings through the trees, add a K to money. Giraffe. <laughs> no. Duck. Dad! Sheep. It's got a K in it. Oh, cat. <laughs> Shark. No. Flathead. Prawn. Look, listen. Goanna. Chook. Apricot jam. What? What do you mean, apricot jam? That was my dog's name. <laughs> Why did you call your dog apricot jam? Because I like apricot jam. <laughs> oh, this is impossible. He's mad. You're mad, Ted. Come on, let's go. Oh, no, Bruno, no. calm down. How can I calm down with him here? Probably called his pet budgie leg of lamb. <laughs> Felix. Right? Felix. I called me budgie Felix. Why? Because the cat ate him. <laughs> We're going. There's something seriously wrong with you. No, Pitt. there's nothing wrong with me. I've got a new dynamic personality that's guaranteed to open all doors. Yeah, and every one of them's padded. Coffee's up. Come on, everybody. Come and get it. Oh, and look, Ted. Greta's donated her chocolates for supper. Yeah. It's very handy, really, because I dropped the lamingtons in the washing up water. <laughs> oh, bags, I get the hard ones. Oh. Hey, stop that. <laughs> Get your fingers out of them. Oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the hard ones. You've squashed them all. I haven't squashed all of them. No, you missed a couple. Why don't you put a match to the box and do a real job on it? Shut up, Wog. You're pushing my charm to its limit. Ted, I think we've all had quite enough charm for one evening. So why don't you pack up your dynamic, positive personality and put it away before someone gets hurt? Yes, Ted, go and put your muzzle on. <laughs> Listen, Wog. Dad? Oh, all right, all right. Man can't take a trick in this house. No hardies in the chockies. Man can't even squash a softie in peace. <laughs> no wonder the country's in a mess. Ted, stop grumbling. Yeah. Why don't you tell Greta and Bruno about your new job thing he plans? No, I don't want to. Go on, Ted, we're fascinated. Go, go on, we really want to know. No. Oh. Come on, Dad, no, we're just dying to know, aren't we, Bruno? Oh, yeah, look, I can't contain myself. Oh, all right, all right. Well, now that my persona has been miraculously transformed into the dynamic sales machine you see before you... The one that squashes chocolates. <laughs> Listen, I'm talking about me. I've decided to, as my Yank motivator put it, unleash the dormant potential that has been bubbling inside of me. Oh, Ted, not while we're eating. <laughs> Shut up, Og. I've decided to put my new ability into a, a new career in the corridors of power. You're going to be an office cleaner. I am going straight to the top. You're going to be a lift driver. Oh, no. <laughs> be sensible. 
father's going to become an executive. What? Is that a part-time or full-time executive, Ted? Full-time executive, Phil. You know, the lot. A, a, a big office, a chair that doesn't squeak, cringing staff, you know, lunch in a briefcase, all that sort of thing. I shall fast become the captain of the great ship of industry. You're right, Ted. And I can see the name of that ship. What? The Titanic. <laughs> Damn! It's very hard to concentrate, Thelma. But I can't write and spell at the same time. Sorry, dear. Very tricky applying for these jobs. Just let a little bit of shush, please. Sorry, dear. <laughs> Number 14 on that present here. God, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> <Ted>? <laughs> Excuse me, Tid. What? It's 1982. I am not entirely stupid, woman. Sorry, T. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Oh, hello, Craig. Look, Ted, it's our little boy lost. Come home. Hi, Dad. Shut up. <laughs> Father's thinking. How can you tell? He's got a headache. Mm. <laughs> Always gets a headache when he's thinking. Mm -hmm. How's Wendy? Fine. Says hello. Oh, only hello, not love. No, I get that bit. <laughs> Craig, Wendy is a nice girl. You make sure you do the right thing. Oh, I always do, Mum. Whenever I can. <laughs> Good boy, Craig. can't even write a letter without his wives and children tarry hooting round his shoulders. Oh, what are you applying for? A Ronald McDonald badge. What do you think I'm applying for? <laughs> All that randy student life addled your brain or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the job? That one there. Oh. International Computer Corporation seeks sales manager for Asian division. Computer experience not essential. Applicant must have dynamic personality. <laughs> and forceful sales ability and be sympathetic to multicultural and racial differences. <laughs> you, sympathetic to Asians? I love the little yellow bulb. <laughs> when have you ever mixed with any of them? I've mixed with thousands of them. Where? The Kokoda Trail. <laughs> One behind every tree. Yeah, yeah. Give us a look at your letter. Uh, careful, careful. Paper doesn't grow on trees, you know. All right. <laughs> Dear sir, read your ad in the paper this morning. I am the man for the job. I am 35 and a half, but don't look it. The only thing about you that's 35 is your teeth. And that's your second set. The rest of you is 20 years older. It is not. I'm young. Beatles, Rolling Stones, Abba. See? Young, young, young. Oh, Dad, you can't send that. Look, I'll write it. No, 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 no. This is what I'm going to send, and that's final. All right. Have it your own way, but I wouldn't send that. Why not? Well, for a start, there's no uh, K in computer. Heck on me, grandmother. Excuse me. <laughs> Ted, is that you? Oh, God, it's the wog. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Get out. Go on, get out. Crack off. Go on, go on, go on. Come on, Pedals. What are you doing? I'm making an application for a rich and powerful job, and I don't want to be seen here with you. Now, go on, get out. Crack oh, off. Oh, I off. don't want to know what you're up to. I just want to go up to the 12th floor. Get your finger off that button I pressed. That's my lift button. I pressed it first as my job application lift. Didn't I press that? You ask anybody. Ask the Jap. Hey, Jap. <laughs> 
<laughs> didn't I press the button first, didn't I? Ah, so. All right, now get the next one. Go on, go on. I've got to check the wiring. Why? Because it's my job. What do you think an electrical engineer does? I don't know and I don't care, as long as you do it somewhere else. Now, go on, I disown you. Ted? Everybody, he's not with me. I'm, I'm management material. I, I don't talk to Wogs. You wouldn't, would you? No, neither would you. I do. Oh, well, <laughs> you're paid for it, aren't you? Now, go on, get out of it. Get the next lift. Ted. Bloody pushy Wogs. You can't trust one of them. Pardon me, sir, but our Pope is a Wog. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, that's different. I mean, he's over there, isn't he? I mean, he doesn't lair eyes around in purple valiants. <laughs> that's true. I hadn't quite thought of it that way. Yeah. Now, by the way, what does he drive these days? One of them pissy little feats with the engines and the... <laughs> no, His Holiness lair eyes is... drives a Mercedes. A Mercedes? They got Sail of the Century in Rome, too. His Holiness did not win his car in a quiz show. Oh, no, of course not. No, say no more. <laughs> Company car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting one myself. Tax dodge, you know. What is it? What's what? happening? What? Uh, don't panic, don't panic. Now, are you all right, my child? Fine, thanks. <laughs> not you. Oh. Are you all right, my dear? Yes, yes, fine. Just a bit worried about having the baby. It's a bit late to do that now. You should have thought of that before you went to the drive. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sir, I don't know who you are. Would you kindly keep your opinions to yourself? This poor girl is in a highly emotional state, as in fact we all are. Uh, so the lift ran over a hole in the road. Who cares? <laughs> What's so terrifying about riding in a lift? You don't understand. The lift is jammed. We are stuck. Pick up my grandmother, I'm gonna oh. die! Run, run. How long's it been now? Five minutes since you last asked. Seems like hours. It's only been 20 minutes. Father, why don't you try the phone again? Someone must answer it. You know, I really can't understand how an emergency telephone can be engaged. <laughs> It'll be the wog phoning home to Italy. <laughs> Beeper after nine o'clock indeed. Someone should blow that bloody beep of the owl up. <laughs> hey, what do you reckon, eh, Sanyo? I so. <laughs> I so do you, mate. That'll be right. <laughs> Hey, you nips all know all about electronics and transistors. Why don't you fix the lift? Uh, shh, shh, shh. Someone's answering. Oh, hello, hello. Ah, yes. Hey, Stop. give We're us that all handlet. Hello. <laughs> They've hung up. <laughs> you fool. You, you Protestant. Don't, don't look on the raw Catholic with me, mate. You're just as vicious as that stupid nun that swoops around St. Joseph's institution for the chronically Catholic. What are you talking about? What is he talking about? I don't know. Oh, don't talk to him. He doesn't understand the English, do you? Hey, swarming down here with your, with your Datsuns and Dim Sims. <laughs> Why don't you go back to the penny fields where you belong, eh? See, he doesn't understand a word you say, do you? I understand perfectly. You are England pig, sir. <laughs> No one's ever called a bullpit that and got away with it. Your name is Bullpit? Mr. Bullpit to you. You come about job? I come about job. What about it? You didn't get it. <laughs> How do you know? I know how you. You mean I was meant to see you? Ah, so. Strike me Jewish. Oh, uh, oh, oh no. It's happening. Oh. I'm having my baby. Father, what am I going to do? Oh, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Just sit down. Oh, pick up my grandmother. She's having a baby. Don't have it here. The lift's overcrowded already. <laughs> Besides, well, we haven't got any Kimbys. Have you got any aspirin? No. Why? Oh, I'm going to faint. <laughs> oh, no, you're not, mate. Don't you make me, Cobber. You're going up that trap door to get help. Hey, you mad height makes me seasick. Ah! Bloody nips and Catholics. We should have got rid of them when we had a chance during the war. Yeah, yeah. And keep climbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pickle me grandmother. Pickle me grandfather. 
Oh, pickle me! <laughs> Dear Lord, if ever I should get out of this, I promise I'll never be nasty to any Catholics again. Especially that nun, if she, as long as she doesn't hit first. <laughs> and furthermore, I'll buy a Jap car. Two Jap cars, three Jap cars, if they'll fit in the garage. And finally, Lord, I'll give the Commodore to the WOG. Is that all right? Is that okay, Lord? Wonderful, I'll take it. <laughs> Good money, Lord. What's that? What, that nice girl in the lift. She had a bouncing baby boy. Oh, fancy that. Another Edward Melba in the world. <laughs> well, not quite, Ted. What do you mean? She called him Bruno. <laughs> 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 